really key importance is hip flexibility. This is called the pigeon pose. This is one that really helps your hip flexibility. When you ride the triathlon bike, you've got to be able to really bend down to get into that low position, not to mention keep the hips relaxed because you've got to run afterwards. So you just gently let the hip drop. You can turn into it. As you find spots that your hip is tight, you can kind of adjust your position to help loosen those tight spots. Spend as much time in those poses as you need to loosen up. Now we're dog. Pigeon pose with the other leg. Just slowly let the hip drop. You really hurt yourself with this one, so you want to start nice and gradual and not ever force anything. Over time, that hip will drop more and more and more. You can move on to your forearms to generate a little bit of more of a stretch. There's a lot of variations you can do from sun salutation with additional uh, alligator and cobra poses and additional downward dogs, whatever you need to help recover from your workout. Back into the downward dog. And you're ready to move out of it. Bring a leg forward. Up. Bring another leg forward. Hands together. And slowly roll up the spine. That's a great thing to do as part of your cool down from lifting or from running. 